2014. We're with Luma Forge at the AMD booth. Neil? Thank you very much, Kalani. Kalani is our technical expert, by the way. Obviously. <laughs> so, Stu, you were asking earlier about why are these new AMD W9100 cards, why are they important for anybody who's uh, coloring on DaVinci Resolve or using Adobe Creative Cloud? Let me show you. Come over this way. So these W9100s, each card has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. 16 gigabytes of VRAM and 2800 um, stream processors. What that means is you can now run Adobe Creative Cloud and DaVinci Resolve in the fastest possible way. So for example, here on this screen here, this is DaVinci Resolve 10.1.4, we have some Dragon footage, this is 6K Dragon footage, 6144 by 3160 16-bit. This is the most extreme raw footage you can get now. Normally, in order to play back or color correct DaVinci Resolve uh, on, on Resolve with, with Dragon footage, you need to have a Red Rocket X card in, installed. If you notice, in this Super Micro chassis, we do not have any Red Rocket cards. We only have the AMD Fire Pro WS9100s. So let's have a look at what we've got here. And again, even with a Red Rocket card, normally you would play back at half D-Bear or half quality. So if I go to the, the preferences, we can see that under Red, we have full res premium for D-Bear quality and full res premium for playback quality. Did you get that, Stu? Nice close up on that. So full, full res premium, for the Bayer decode quality and full res premium for playback quality. So, and as you can see, we've now also got the timeline set up for 3840 by 2160. This is a 4K monitor from Seiki, 3840 by 2160. So we're doing, we're decoding 6K Dragon files and we're also playing back. So this is the red raw footage straight out of the camera. Let's actually get a better scene. That's a little bit gruesome. Let's go here. This is red raw footage straight out of the camera. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a node and then we're going to bring down the black levels. You can see the scopes. So we're bringing all this back down in real time. Then we'll bring up the sky a little bit and just change the, the skin tones of the come back and bring back the, the blacks there and maybe we'll put, you know, warm it up a little bit, we'll put some red in there. So very quickly we're running and then if I press play here now, you no, know, this is now running back up at 24 frames a second, five nodes, 6K dragon footage. So this is one of the reasons if you really want to work fast and quickly in um, on DaVinci Resolve with any kind of 4K, 5K, 6K footage, these GPUs really help you get things done quickly and fastly and efficiently. And the beauty of it is, in my lab back in West Hollywood, I actually have this set up with four monitors. And as well as doing DaVinci Resolve in one monitor, I've got Premiere Pro running in one, After Effects running in one, uh, Media Encoder running, and they're all running at the same time off one PC. And that power is all coming from both the Xeon Dual Xeons, but more importantly from these GPUs. So if you want to work quickly and fastly on any kind of OpenCL application like Adobe Creative Cloud or like DaVinci Resolve, get yourself a Fire Pro W9100 and the saying I have this week is waiting is no longer an option. Just get things done quick and fast, make it happen. These W9100s, this is what allows you to be more creative and more productive. So this is Neil Smith from NEB 2014 from the AMD booth and I'll welcome back our technical consultant Kalani Leon. Please visit our website. And it's at Right I'll say it as well. www.lumaforge.com. Thank you very much, technical expert. Thank Cheers you, Stu. Take care, mate. Bye.